Hey everybody, Chris Trudy here, leading communications expert and business coach for Japan. How are you all doing today? Today is Tuesday, September 3rd in the morning. Great day. It's uh, going to be a little cooler today. It's still going to be hot. I think it's going to get about 30 degrees Celsius, but uh, our high 20s, but uh, as you say in spring, spring is in the air, but fall is coming. You can smell it, it's coming. So really looking forward to the cooler weather. Also started running yesterday, ran yesterday and today. So again, cool weather in the morning uh, makes running just amazing. So anyway, today I wanna to continue my this series on introducing you to Toastmasters. So we talked about evaluations, we talked about table topics, and now I'm going to talk about really the, the core of Toastmasters, and that's public speaking. So uh, you may have heard this before, but uh, it's pretty famous that uh, surveys show that the number one fear of Americans is not death. That's number two, actually. The number one fear of Americans is public speaking. So Toastmasters is this amazing organization. Uh, I don't know like 350,000 members globally. It started like 85 years ago in the States, but it's global now. Um, as I've shared before in Japan, there's about 200 clubs. Many of those are in Tokyo and Yokohama. And I highly recommend that you visit Toastmasters as a guest. Uh, each club's a little different, but uh, if you go to a very strong club, uh, you may experience the same things I experienced first time I visited Toastmasters. Is you'll be surprised at how structured it is. Uh, of course, you know you'll see good speeches um, and strong leaders, but everything is done on time. There's an agenda. So again, all these things apply to business very well to make you run meetings more efficiently. But most importantly is public speaking. Uh, overcoming that fear of speaking in front of a group and whether we like it or not, a lot of us have to do that at work. Or maybe at a wedding we get asked to make a toast. Uh, so um, anyway, this public speaking is a, a life skill that I think everybody should have. And, whether you're shy or an introvert or truly like I was very afraid of uh, public speaking before I joined Toastmasters. Toastmasters will help you to get over that fear very quickly, uh, build your confidence and become a better speaker. Not only a better speaker, but just become a good speaker. Uh, and the reason is, there's several reasons, but the main reason is, is Toastmasters has a very um, effective educational system. Um, so when you join Toastmasters, you typically will get a mentor, someone who's you know much more experienced than you, to help you uh, transition, to help you uh, give your first few speeches. Your first speech usually or always is an icebreaker. It's four to six minutes, uh, which actually is you know, for your first speech, it can be pretty long, but you know, four to six minutes, icebreaker, basically introduce yourself. And then um, Toastmasters has what they call pathways. So when you join Toastmasters, there's several different pathways. I don't know how many that you can choose to focus on. And each pathway has a different curriculum, but the basics, the fundamentals are pretty much the same with each pathway. Um, I'm in a pathway called Presentation Mastery, which focuses on public speaking, giving presentations. Uh, but there's other pathways that focus more on leadership and coaching. But, but again, the, the core of Toastmasters is public speaking, and they are very good at helping you improve your public speaking skills, uh, how to create a speech, how to structure a speech, how to inspire, how to persuade, how to use body language, how to use what we call vocal variety, uh, changing the tone of your voice, the speed of your voice. Um, and it's just 
an amazing, very structured educational system. So like anything, when you join Toastmasters, uh, if you apply yourself and follow the system, follow the advice of others, of your mentor, you will progress very quickly. Um, now, traditionally, when I joined to get your first award, which was called Competent Communicator, uh, you had to give 10 speeches. That was your basic manual. Um, like I said, that doesn't exist anymore. It's called Pathways, and you get your first award after five speeches. And I think five speeches, and then you have five levels. So that would be, I'm just guessing, 25 speeches to get to the first level or, or the finish the first pathway. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's uh, Pathways is new, so I've just started it. Um, I'm very close to finishing the uh, what we call the legacy educational pathway to get distinguished Toastmasters. So I wanted to show you some things when you join Toastmasters. You make the, a pin, your little pin, lapel, put on your lapel. Toastmasters, where leaders are made. And then uh, in your clubs, not all clubs, but you know, our club, we get give awards, little ribbons. So this is for best evaluator. This, I got best evaluator uh, last time. Uh, I didn't give a speech, but we also have best uh, speaker and then best table topics. So we have three awards. So again, a meeting, like I said, is uh, divided into three sections. You have prepared speeches, usually five to seven minutes, sometimes longer but that's the average five to seven minutes which these facebook lives i try to keep them within seven minutes uh, and then you have a table topic session that's impromptu speeches uh one to two minutes and then you have evaluations so people evaluate each prepared speaker so we sandwich in the table topics in between to give the evaluators a little time to prepare for their evaluations because evaluations are two to three minutes so Anyway, so I hope you're interested in Toastmasters. I'll do a few more episodes on Toastmasters. Again, if you're in Tokyo, come check us out. Tokyo Toastmasters. We're meeting this week, Thursday, uh, September 5th, in Higashi Ginza, the Konwa Biru, from 7 p.m. So hope to see you there. Uh, and sayonara. Take care. Bye-bye.